I built two versions of the public laboratory's fold-up spectrometer for smartphones and tried two slightly different ways of attaching them to iPhones. I bought a couple of these rigid aluminum iPhone cases for $4 a piece, and because the iPhone's camera is way in the corner of the phone, I made plastic plates to extend the surface for mounting the spectrometer. I barred the plastic for the plates from this misfit peripheral. One plate was epoxy to the camera case, and the spectrometer was attached to the other plate, an arrangement I thought would provide some flexibility. First, we have to fold up the spectrometer. I used a straight edge to make tidy folds and used super glue because I had lots of it and it dries really fast. Instead of using a piece of DVD for the diffraction grating, I used grating replica polyacetate film with a thousand lines per millimeter. I glued this on the inside of the flap, but then realized that this makes it inaccessible. In this form, it could be attached right to the phone or phone case, but I ripped out the grating and instead glued a piece directly to the plate. The paper spectrometer was then glued to the other plate and this plate was attached with two screws which are self-threaded into the plastic so no nuts are needed. Unfortunately, the angle of the paper spectrometer is not quite right for the grating film I used and the image of the spectrum was displayed too far toward the blue end. This would be a good position for the image if infrared light was also being recorded, but cameras don't record infrared unless you remove the internal IR filter, which most people are not going to do with their smartphones. So I had to refold the base of the paper spectrometer to increase the angle from 45 degrees to 48 degrees to center the visible spectrum in the photographic image. This left the gap, which I covered up with a piece of black plastic. Another modification I did was to make the entrance slit narrower. The standard slit works fine, but as long as the light source is bright enough, a narrower slit can resolve spectral peaks better, and I wanted to find out how much difference this made. To reduce the width of the slit by about half to around two tenths of a millimeter, I glued two strips of black plastic along the existing slit. This plastic is the thin black stuff that many prepared food containers are made of. The difference this makes in the spectra is subtle. It made some faint peaks, like the Mercury 405 nanometer peak, very hard to see, but resolved the Europium 661 peak a little better than the wider slit. So slit width is a compromise, and the optimum width depends on the type of spectra being made. The other spectrometer I made was a homemade version folded from black construction paper. I cut one of the plastic plates from a corner of the Intel peripheral, which allowed me to cut slots along two edges. I then carved tabs in the other plate so the spectrometer could be easily clicked into place. Because the grating is on the spectrometer plate, I thought this would make it simple and quick to use the camera normally in the middle of a spectrometry session. This turned out to be a solution without a problem, since the phone can be quickly removed from the case. And the other version of the double plate, with the hole over the Apple logo, allows the phone to be pushed out easily. So this is the simpler, more useful design.